Paul, thanks for joining us on iFollow Ipswich. Congratulations on winning the September League One Manager of the Month. How do you feel? It, it, I said the last year as well, it's like a joint big effort for the staff and the players. Without the players and staff, you don't really get anything like that. So big thanks to them. For me, yeah, it's really, really nice, but also to the staff and the players. Does it give you, not that you need that confidence, but a nice little sort of pat on the back for everyone and it shows everyone that moving in the right direction? Yeah, that, well, I think that's the, the accolade that brings really for everybody, not not just for myself. Okay, I'm at the forefront of it, but the actual with the staff and with the, the players, everybody pulling together, then these sort of things tend not to come round too often. So, um, no, it's a big thanks for everybody. Three wins from three, of course, and then a draw at Milton Keynes at the weekend. So that's a good start to the season. You take that, wouldn't you? Yeah, we've started really well. We've only conceded one goal. Mm. We're uh, we're playing ever so well, so um, I'm really happy where we're, where we're at. Are you hoping that the lads will, um, you know, Milton Keynes, they, they, didn't, they did enjoy a lot of the ball down there, sorry. Are you hoping that you're more on the front foot at the weekend? Yeah, well, we, we, as I said before, I thought we were slopping a lot of stuff. We started the game well last week, we got a good goal. And then I think Freddie had a good chance to make it 2-0. And then I thought we never really imposed ourselves on on that side. Um, so, second half was a bit of a non-invent because of 10 men for half an hour. But for different reasons, it was a huge point because we defended really strongly. So, but hopefully we can we can go and and and, uh, and have a good game on Saturday and try and win. We do know that uh, Flynn and Wardy will miss that one. Mm -hmm. But the good the good thing is is that guys like Caden, Judgey, Luke Wolfenden got minutes on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. They're all on their way back. Well, look, look, obviously played uh, Judgey, uh, no, and Caden, no. So um, just because of the injury situation, so. And Tuesday night, it was exceptional for them, from a really young team that played really, really well. We, we were incredible with the ball. So really happy how we played in the result. So, um, yeah, we, we, try and, we try and do the same again Saturday. He's almost got a week's uh, training under his belt. How's Keenan Bennett's getting on? Well, he, he trained with the fitness guys and the medical guys Monday, Tuesday, and the Wednesday we were off. He tra trained the first day today. So, um, yeah, no, he looks, he looks okay. We, we wait and see how he is tomorrow and then we see you on Saturday. You get very used to it in this uh, part of the country. Another long trip on Saturday, isn't it? Mm. And what are you expecting up there? Tough game, as you're right. A long, long, yeah. long journey. Um, but football is what it is. I mean, it's no, no fans. You don't need to travel that, that distance as well. So we, we have to play. And um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a tough game. They have added a few players, haven't they? Especially yeah. at the back. So that's a battle for... Ollie Hawkins, Caden Jackson, yeah. whoever's starting up front. Mm, uh, yeah, we, we have to look at our own guys in their own team, regardless who who Blackpool have got. We know they bring in a lot of players. And um, yeah, we, we try our best to, to try and win.